Hi. Hey, Junie, how you doing, man? I'm good, man. How about you? I'm doing good, man. Thanks, and uh, thank you for taking the time for the interview. So, um, you know, first I just want to talk to you about, you know, early on in your, your life and your career, you know, how did you first get introduced to music and, you know, what kind of influenced you to uh, musically want to go into a career in that field? Well, um, you know, I think that it's music actually through, um, you know, growing up in this family that, you know, was into certain stuff, you know, that's pretty much what it all started. You know, my mom saying, I play boards, you know, keyboards, and, um, and so I was coming around it a little bit, but, You know, um, you, you mentioned that, you know, some of the instruments you played, um, you know, take me through each of the instruments that you can play and how you kind of, you know, got into and drew interest in playing those. Well, first and foremost was, uh, you know, piano and organ and stuff. That's mm -hmm. um, kind of my heart, you know, I, I started off playing that. And uh, it was more of a thing in my life. I was never uh, professionally trained or anything like that. So I made like cool. I know you also write a lot of your own music as well as music for other people. So, you know, talk to me about um, how you develop your talent for writing and kind of the approach you take when you put a song together. Well, you know, it depends on the type of song that I'm writing. Uh, some songs I write with other artists in mind, you know, just, some, you know, just that being the producer in you as well, you know, just kind of like to do it that way. Yeah. But, you know, songs that are more close to personal you know, songs that I would do for myself, I kind of, um, uh, depending on the, the style and the direction I'm going, it's something that's acoustic or something that's uh, more uh, sentimental or worried. I think we just pick up a guitar, and it's kind of just you know, going slow off of what I feel. You know, uh, and sometimes it takes days, sometimes it takes months, sometimes it takes hours, you know, so it kind of, you know, does. Yeah. And, you know, the step, the standard way that a lot of people like would be to get a track, you know, and they just get on top of it and, and just kind of freestyle it and see what comes out. Okay, you know, um, you know, we talked about you. You play, you play instruments. You can write, and you, you know, we you know you can sing as well. You know, do you think it's an advantage for you to be kind of like a triple threat in terms of that, and you know, have talents in each of these separate things, rather than, you know, some people they can just sing, but you have talent in all three. You know, talk, talk to me about that. Yeah, you know, but well, you know, um, it is. I think uh, an advantage because a lot of um, I talk to a lot of different artists. A lot of times, like, they have um, ideas, you know, and they can take this part of the idea out, but it's hard to get the other part of it out. You know, they have to ask my level how to interpret what they're doing, you know, what they're doing in their head. And so, you know, that's what they have to do on three of those things. You know, it's like I can just, you know, start to, uh, you know, I have my head in a couple of minutes to say that. And, you know, it's always good to, it's like painting a picture, like, you know, you paint a picture, and it's, it's kind of like, you know, Yeah, I definitely have respect for, you know, um, artists who, who, you know, not only can sing, but, you know, have that talent in, in, you know, instruments and writing. You know, I really respect that. So, you know, eventually, you, early on, you got signed to, uh, you know, your first record deal. You know, how was that whole experience like? It was cool, you know. Actually, that was one of the highlights of my life, being able to go through that situation. Uh, uh, I was working on a music store in Seattle, Washington, and I uh, was
context. I got a lot of experience, and uh, you know, I think it was a, a great opportunity for me. Yeah, you know, I was reading that eventually you decided to step away from the spotlight, you know, from the label, walk away from the deal, and you just kind of started writing for other artists, you know. What made you kind of go in that direction? Well, the thing was that, you know, it was, it was kind of a mutual thing. Uh, what happened was we had the, had the album done at the label, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, they were very low, but then uh, when things happened, or with the heads, they had the merge label, and then all of a sudden, but it was at the point where people were looking for the job, and they started, you know, questioning the single, and now it's like I found myself in a place where I was trying to do songs that were like other artists and men saying, and it was kind of losing myself, you know, and that whole hustle and bustle. So uh, after uh, we decided to go and step away, you know, I just stepped back away from um, the same for, for a little minute, man, to you know, kind of just find myself again, you know, and uh, uh, um, I think that's what people are going to hear with this new album. I was, you know, I was also reading you eventually went on tour with um, Elliot Yamin. You know, what was it like being on the road with him, and you know, how did that opportunity come about? mentioned uh, you know the debut album acoustic love so after the tour you know what kind of made you decide to want to restart your solo career and, and get back into the process you know of uh, you know making an album You know, and, and, and talk to me about this album, Acoustic Love, you know, what can you tell me about the album, what type of sound is on the album, you know, musically, all, all that type of thing. I had a chance to hear, you know, the song Sunshine. I know a lot of people that I've, you know, seen have liked that one. Um, you know, give me some background on that song and how it came together. Yeah. 
you know, one thing I've noticed about the song from reading online is it, it got a lot of support from, uh, you know, listeners overseas and, and, and in the United Kingdom and all that. Um, you know, tell me about that. And, you know, was that kind of a surprise for you, you know, considering you're from the U.S.? Or, you know, how did that feel? You know, besides, you know, Acoustic Love released last year, so tell me about some other projects you're working on, because, you know, I, I was reading that you do a lot of music for, you know, films and stuff like that. Of course, I want to ask you is, you know, a lot of upcoming R&B singers come and go, you know, they make a little bit of an impact, but then they're gone, you know, what is it about Junie that you think will um, make you stay for the long haul in, in this music business? That's all the questions I had. Is there anything you'd like to add? No, man, I appreciate you interviewing me, man. I really appreciate it. No, definitely, man. Um, you know, just uh, let your fans know how could they reach you, you know, check out the album and all that. Thanks a lot, Junie. It was a pleasure speaking with you, and um, you know, I wish you the best of luck in the future, and uh, you got my support. All right, thanks. I appreciate it. All right, no problem. Take care.